Ah, what's up guys, it's Sam here from Set Cell Studios and today I'm going to talk about ligatures and how to use them in four different programs. So, ligatures. Hmm. Ligatures are... Okay, so when we think about characters in a font, uh, we think about single letters, whereas ligatures are um, a combination of two or two or more letters uh, in a single character of a font. Um, so font designers uh, will include ligatures um, because some letters maybe uh, don't connect very naturally or they look a bit awkward when they're placed next to each other. So ligatures allows font designers to combine two letters uh, to make them sort of flow more naturally or to look more visually appealing. Um, and they're not just limited to uh, script fonts. Um, a lot of serif and sans serif fonts use ligatures as well. It's also worth mentioning that not all fonts contain ligatures, uh, only some, and the ones that do don't always contain ligatures for every single letter combination. They'll just kind of include them for those combinations of letters that don't look great. <laughs> That's kind of what I do anyway. Um, so I'm going to look at how to access those ligatures in four different programs, two graphics programs, Photoshop and Illustrator, and also two text processing programs, Microsoft Word and Mac Pages. Okay, so starting in Photoshop, I've written out some text with the type tool. And uh, so to turn on ligatures uh, in Photoshop, uh, go to the character panel. So if that's not open, you can head to window and select character. Uh, and at the bottom of the character panel you'll see all these little icons um, so this ST ligature here uh, that will turn on discretionary ligatures um, so all my fonts are coded with discretionary ligatures there is a second type of ligature called standard ligatures um, I won't go into the difference there's, there's not really that much difference between the two types of ligatures it just depends on how the font designer has coded the font um, it doesn't really make much difference as to how you work with the font. And there's just it's just something to mention that some fonts you might have to switch on standard ligatures rather than discretionary ligatures. Um, but yeah, so you can see the A and the B and the U and the L will switch to the two ligatures that are included in that font, and that's a really simple way to access ligatures in Photoshop. Okay, so in Illustrator now, it's a very similar method to Photoshop. Um, once you've typed out your text with the type tool, um, you can uh, head to the open type panel. Uh, if you can't find that, just head to window type and then select open type. Um, and with the text selected, um, yeah, head to the open type panel and they have the same icons here as the character panel in, the, in Photoshop. Um, so it's just a case of switching on the um, ST icon for discretionary ligatures. And that is how to access ligatures in, in Illustrator. Okay, so in Microsoft Word, with the text typed out, um, highlight the text and head to Format and select Font. Click on the Advanced tab uh, and then in the ligatures menu select all from the drop down and then press OK. OK, working in Mac pages now um, with the text typed out. Um, highlight all of your text, um, head to the uh, settings or the advanced options uh, in the font panel uh, and then in the ligatures section um, hit the drop down menu and just select to use all and there you go, really straightforward. So I hope that all made sense guys and you're a little bit more clued up about ligatures now hopefully. Uh, but if you had any other questions, feel free to drop me an email at sam at and I will see you guys on the next video.